Breakfast at Fishinies. I'm Mike Fisher, your trusty and trusted reporter. This is the Fish Bowl. That is the star. And that is the Ice Bowl. Uh, black ice this morning in Frisco. So uh, we're homebound again. A couple of quick nuggets uh, and items. And then we will uh, get to the theme of this morning's program. If you give me 17 minutes, I'll give you the Cowboys world on this subject. Uh, item. Chris Richard has been let go. Uh, as the Saints co-defensive coordinator. That's weird. Um, we we sometimes, because we have the, the microscope on the Dallas Cowboys instead of the telescope on the league, we sometimes think, boy, the Cowboys are weird. And, and, and they are. But the New Orleans Saints had co-defensive coordinators? And so one of them now just gets hired to leave the Saints and go across the street to be the defensive coordinator is it named Nielsen uh, in Atlanta? Well, you know, if things went so well, um, and, and if, if that if that works so well, surely that coach is going to hire Chris Richard to come with him. I don't think so. <laughs> Doesn't look that way. Uh, Chris Richard, old friend of the show. And of course, for a minute there, he was the Cowboys' next big thing. Many of us thought for sure, because Rod Marinelli so generously basically said, well, listen, you're you're the up and comer here, who and you've already been a defensive coordinator in Seattle. Um, I'm gonna let you help call the place. In fact, in a way, they were kind of co-defensive coordinators too. Chris Richard now out of work. Uh late last night, I made some uh, you guys asked about the the NFL is rigged thing. It turns out that that is a meme sort of deal. I didn't I didn't know it was a big running joke in the NFL. It is. So now we know it is a big running joke in the NFL. And I think Barstool or Sports, Barstool, they do shows about it and get players to come on and pretend to talk about how, yeah, remember when I stepped out of bounds in that 1979 game? Yeah, I did that on purpose. So uh, my apologies for being gullible. There's a first. Where's Lincoln Riley? Um, he was another next big thing. He is now the head coach at the University of Southern California, USC, where that is a monster power program. Um, but the people in Oklahoma don't think it's going to work. People in Oklahoma were going to elect him uh, governor for a second there. And then uh, he left him at the altar. And um, now they think he sucks. We shall see. Uh, and one more item, Tyron Smith, surgery. Uh-oh, uh, minor. This is a knee thing, a cleanup knee thing. And the indication, my my feeling is he's got one year left on his contract and he he's coming back. And here's my logic. And again, uh, Tyron Smith, friend of sugar. If he wanted to not come back, this would have been the year to not come back because he tore his hamstring off the bone. This would have been the year to go, you know, I, I, I think I'm done. So now that you fought back and rehab that and you got one year left on your contract, um, I know what the, the cap impact is like 17 million, whatever his salary is, something like that. Why walk away from that? And so uh, Stephen and Jerry yesterday indicated, yeah, I, I think he's coming back. And we've done this the last couple of years in the offseason. Is he coming back? I think, yes, he's coming back uh, is an excellent answer. Uh, the like button is there for your passion. Massage it. It beats the algorithms when you hit the like button and lets Cowboy Nation have the power on YouTube. It's quite incredible. So uh, if uh, a mess of you would please hit the like button on the count of three, you please, three, two, one. If at the end of this program, of course, you find uh, the fish report to be information presented in an entertaining manner, would you please subscribe to what we do here? It's absolutely free. We're 61,000 strong now. And of course, there's the Bree fund the super chat setups for it by YouTube as well. Uh, you can get in, get on and be good that way. Let me see if I can do this. It's kind of a tale of the tape. 
And I will try to do this in an unbiased way. Last night, you know, we were poking some fun at Sean Payton and, and uh, certainly we've had some fun with Big Mike over the last couple of years. Let me see if I can just do this with the thesis being Sean Payton versus Mike McCarthy. What's the diff? Because Sean Payton, in most quarters, is getting a standing ovation as he moves to the Broncos. And Mike McCarthy's like, you're going to run an offense like the Packers? It's weird reactions. What exactly is wrong with running an offense like the Packers? Uh, that, that, now, there's my opinion -y question. Meanwhile, if Sean Payton and the Broncos really wanted each other, why, why did both sides do so much flirting with others? Ah, okay, anyway, those are my opinions. Now, let's just go to the facts. For the sake of this following presentation, I don't want to pose to you the question, what do you think is the difference between Mike McCarthy and Sean Payton? Instead, I want to do it with you this way. And we'll work together on this. It's a project. Not what do you think is the difference. What do you know is the difference between Mike McCarthy and Sean Payton? You see the difference in the difference in the question? Now, we're going to do this exercise with a mention uh, to the kids over at uh, Inside the Star. And I say this respectfully. Again, I'm going to, I'm going to make this my thesis, and then I'm going to true, prove my thesis. The kids make a common mistake. They're trying to weigh the differences between any coach, in this case, of course, Cowboys McCarthy and Peyton, long the apple of Cowboy Nation's eye, who is not coming to the Cowboys anytime soon now, is he? Ignore the salaries. Don't, don't factor that in there. Ignore for a minute the fact that Denver gave up high multiple picks to do this. The Cowboys didn't have to trade for Mike McCarthy. They just, you know, had some Johnny Walker Blue and signed a contract. Let's just do facts. Peyton versus Big Mike facts. Fact. Peyton has 15 NFL seasons as a head coach. McCarthy has 16. What's the difference? Fact. Peyton's record. 152 and 89. Now think about that. 152 and 89. McCarthy's record. 155 and 97. What's the difference? Fact. Sean Payton has nine playoff seasons in those 15 years. That's pretty good. He's one game over 500 in the playoffs, nine and eight. Uh, you're an informed football person, so you recognize that's good. The, the, the playoffs are supposed to be hard. You're playing teams that are as good as you. You're playing teams that are better than you. You're gonna, you, you should lose half those games. And Payton is one game over 500. McCarthy, 11 playoff seasons in 16 years. So Sean is 9 and 15. McCarthy's 11 and 16. And he too is one game over 500, record of 11 and 10 in those. In other words, what's the difference? Item Sean Payton has four losing seasons. That's it. In a decade and a half, very good. So does Big Mike, the exact same total. Four losing seasons in 16 years. Item. Sean Payton has gone to three NFC title games. He's won one. Again, that's that's the right number. Uh, you, you'd like you'd like to be two and one instead of one and two, but that's the right number. Makes sense. The other team's as good as you or better. Sean Payton's gone to three NFC title games, won one. McCarthy's gone to four NFC title games and won one. Item. Sean Payton, as you know, has one Super Bowl appearance and a victory. Mike McCarthy, as you know, has one Super Bowl appearance and a victory. What's the difference? G10, the difference is Peyton has a better public relations team. Ding. Lee Stewart, give me McCarthy and keep the premium picks. Ding. Ding. 
generic. The difference between Sean and Mike is Sean wears that stupid sun visor hat, <laughs> even inside the dome. <laughs> that is a difference. Whereas Mike just wears whatever hat they tell him to wear. They 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 throw him. Uh, this is this is the week that we're wearing. We're trying to sell pink hats in the pro shop. Here, Mike. Here's a pink hat. Wear it on TV. I don't care. I just rattled off what I consider to be a mountain of evidence that strongly suggests that Sean Payton and Mike McCarthy are basically the same guy. Oh, by the way, Steve R says Sean would have the same number of seasons as Big Mike if not for the the uh, targeting scandal. Wonk wonk. forgot about that one. Fort Worth. Mike had a quarterback in Green Bay that talked trash about him and ruined his image. Aha. Adam makes a great point. Peyton had some of the most brutal playoff losses ever. True. If you're a Packers fan, I'm sure, though, that you think those losses were brutal as well. Paul Gale, the difference is in their height, not their weight. <laughs> That's going on too. Jason B, maybe they're both overrated. I don't know how anybody could consider Mike McCarthy overrated though, Jason, given the fact that he gets beat to hell. Can-Am, the difference is coaching philosophy. Can-Am, Uncle Fish Premium. I don't know what you mean though. Pump Rogers comes on in. I wish my name was Pump Rogers. Comes on into the Uncle Fish Premium Club. Hey, Uncle Fish Premium, what's that? Ask the fellas. You'll get a circle and a star. They'll show you how. I don't know what you mean, Can-Am. The difference in coaching philosophy. What philosophy? What's the philosophy? Those are the facts. And they create two mountains. And the two mountains are almost the exact same height, breadth, width. They're the same guy. So why doesn't everybody see that? The PR thing is gigantic. McCarthy, now his year off, let's not pretend that he didn't do an image scrub up. He invited Peter King to come up to the barn and watch him study. And he had Tom Pelissero come up to the barn and watch. He, he, he did do that. Somebody helped him figure that out. That you, you might want to get some media people on your side, Big Mike. Because right now, people, people aren't digging you. And so he did that. And it helped. He basically made a, a, a movie about himself, really. But that's nothing like what Sean Payton has done. Now, that doesn't make anybody a good guy or a bad guy. One of Sean Payton's great attributes is when they have a crisis in New Orleans, Louisiana, weather and whatnot. Sean Payton, there's no, he's not faking it. He's putting on his boots and going out and helping people. I think there was a time when he might, he could have got elected governor of that state. And, and I take nothing away from him for that. That's, that's not PR. That's real. But Sean Payton has done a really good job making sure that the media likes him. And Mike McCarthy hasn't much bothered. He just didn't, didn't, didn't really think it mattered. He's learned in Dallas. He's learned that he's wrong. He's learned that he's wrong. He's learned that it's it, it it's beneficial to be able to get the media to at least see your side of it. That's why do you think we have the Friday Big Mike private meetings? That's why. So privately, he can have a conversation about, you know, here's why I went for it. I'm not going to hold a press conference explaining why I went for it, but I'll tell you, you 12 guys, here's why I went for it. You don't have to agree with me and let's kick it around. And we get to sit there and say, have you always... Have you always gone for it in that situation? What about that time in 1990? You know, oh, it's it's fantastic. And it helps humanize him. And I think the Dallas media this year, at least those the 12 guys in that room, 12 people in that room, have treated him more fairly than previous because now they recognize he's not just a cartoon character on the Green Bay sideline. He's a real live human who lives right across the street from the star, like I do. So 
the, the uh, website Inside the Star, which I say this, uh, I, I'm not trying to be a slappy, which they're not Inside the Star. And it's one of the issues here. And I'm not trying to poke at them. I'm really trying to be a kindly old Uncle Fish. Why doesn't everybody see that these two coaches are the same? It can't be because McCarthy had a future Hall of Famer in Aaron Rodgers because Peyton won with a future Hall of Famer Drew Brees. Still the same. Again, you could. I, I think Aaron Rodgers might be the greatest quarterback who ever lived, and I don't think Brees is quite that, but he's up there. And then Aaron Rodgers being such a D, that knocks him down quite a bit in my, in my eyes. I don't know. I don't know how they, I don't know how his teammates ever stood him. In fact, maybe they didn't. Maybe they could have won two Super Bowls had Aaron Rodgers somehow taken a shower and been more likable. So what's the real logical answer to why everybody doesn't see what we're talking about here? With no bias towards Mike and not making fun of Sean Payton. Sean Payton's outstanding. But Mike McCarthy's equally outstanding, according to all the numbers that we just went through. So where do we come up with this idea that he's not? Answer. This is the extension of my thesis. The public has formed its collective opinion based on watching TV. We watch Mike McCarthy on TV and decide. It's our only way to explain why. Again, I'll use Inside the Star, the website. Their attempt at ranking one over the other, their evaluation. Let me give you what their evaluation includes. And please understand, I'm not trying to be mean to anybody. Just trying to help. The evaluation at this website includes, quote, in-game communications. That's one of the ways that they decided to judge McCarthy versus Peyton. And what they write is, when McCarthy's on the field, it's almost like he's muted. I hardly ever see him talk. Peyton, on the other hand, was always talking to his players on the sideline. When the camera panned to him, his mouth would always be talking nonstop because he knew what his job was uh, when the camera panned to him. See? So we've decided... Somebody in the media, kind of, somebody at a website has decided the reason Peyton is better than McCarthy is because when I watch Peyton on TV, I see action. When I see McCarthy on TV, he doesn't, he doesn't look like he's that talkative. That's why we don't like, that's why Peyton's better than Mike. Next item, ding, leadership qualities, the website writes. And they go on. Peyton is a far better leader than McCarthy. He is? This is what I talk about with my staff, the 75 member staff, when we write. And I do sometimes urge you guys to try this on yourself. You can say that if you want to be an irresponsible fan, but it's irresponsible to give an opinion that's not based in fact and to just state it as a fact. Peyton is a far better leader than McCarthy, period. Oh, okay. Well, shit, that settles that. Says who? A kid watching TV? Quote, when Peyton was with the Saints, he seemed to get along with everyone. There was rarely ever conflict with him and his coaches. With McCarthy, he seems to get in fights with everyone. He does? We're not being fair. DK, Andy Reid, Sean Payton, Bill Belichick, Bill Parcells, Mike McCarthy, all in the same club. I can, I can put Belichick in a different club. I'm comfortable with that. And I can put Andy Reid in a different club. I'm comfortable with that. I got to tell you, I'm with you on Parcells. Um, but that, may, that might just be, I, I just, I don't like bullies. I just don't like bullies. Never have. So that might just be me. Fort Worth, coaches that get in the player's face. Parcells, Jimmy, Belichick. Does Belichick get in people's face? Because you talk about somebody, if, if we're grading Mike McCarthy down because he's not animated enough on the sideline, well, then I'm grading Belichick down too. Belichick's a, a gargoyle, a, a statue of a gargoyle. 
Roy Smith, who would you rather have, uh, Parcells or Walsh? I covered them both. I was in San Francisco for Bill Walsh. And it's not even close because I will take a professor over a bully anytime. And then, of course, Bill Parcells came here. And um, I don't know. What do you think? How much did how much was accomplished here? Did he turn the franchise around? Or did he mostly just help build a stadium? Third category that the website wants to judge McCarthy on versus Peyton. Life. What? The site writes, Sean Payton just brings more life to a football team. When McCarthy's in charge of a team, all the players look confused and defeated, while Payton adds color to the team. So guys, and I, and I again, I apologize for being too animated myself. I certainly add color to the broadcast. So McCarthy has experienced literally the same exact level of success as Sean Payton has, but McCarthy is somehow doing it with confused, colorless, lifelessness. That's quite a trick. One more time. I'm not picking on. Uh, I'm being less harsh on this website than I am on my own writers. I don't let I, I don't let my writers get away with this. You 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 don't get to have an opinion unless you have the fact. Lonely Catman, the drill sergeant coach is a common trope for the movies. It's also something that was very real in 19, you know, 59. It's really hard to do it that way now. In fact, you look around, look around at what's what's happening in the NFL now with a head coach. You you sometimes will have somebody on your staff who's a drill sergeant, but Andy Reid's not a drill sergeant. Uh, Nick doesn't ask like a, in Philadelphia. He doesn't act like a sergeant. He acts like a private uh, on drunken leave, <laughs> right? Um, Shanahan's not a drill sergeant. I just don't. I just don't think that's that's the way it's done very often anymore. There are four different ways to do it, as we've discussed. We'll do that another day. By the way, Stan points out, um, sometimes even a statue is okay. Tom Landry was not exactly animated on the sideline. Now we're talking. Can Am, why didn't Big Mike call the place from the start? Uh, two reasons. The McCarthy reason, and again, this is not opinion, this is fact. The McCarthy part of the reasoning is things are going pretty well here. He's developing, Kellen's developing Dak. They have a relationship. They have the language. It's working. Cool. And also the Joneses thought, listen, like our recommendation, I don't think they ordered him. I think they strongly recommended. We we think we're going someplace with Kellen. We think we're building something here. So a little bit of on the job, a little bit of on the job training, but that's why they stuck with Kellen then. And by the way, it it worked a lot. And then came a point where Big Mike's going, okay, I think we've taken that as long as we can take it. Now I'm going to do my thing. And the, the Joneses could have said no, you know. Johan, would you trade a first-round pick for Mike McCarthy? Depending on the circumstances, I would. If, if it was me, I'm examining all the ideas. I'm examining all the possibilities. But I don't think the difference between Coach A and Coach B is substantial enough to trade first and second round picks for one of them. No, as a general rule, I do not. So I'm not picking on the website. I'm not picking on Mike McCarthy's critics. I'm not even picking on Sean Payton's critics, although he doesn't really seem to have any. I'm just wondering, and I'm hoping to help convince you to wonder, 
how McCarthy's critics can confuse what we know with what we think when what we think is diametrically opposed to the facts and derived completely from watching TV. Fish out.